Welcome to our channel, where we explore the wonders of the world. Today, we're taking you on an unforgettable journey to the vibrant city of Agadir, Morocco. Get ready to discover the top 10 things to do in this enchanting coastal paradise. From breathtaking landscapes to cultural experiences, Agadir has it all. So, let's dive right in and explore the must-see attractions that make Agadir a true gem of Morocco. Number 10. Hot Air Balloon Ride Over the Sousse Valley Scenery Hot air ballooning has become more popular in Agadir in recent years, with a couple of ballooning companies now offering visitors the opportunity of bird's eye vistas over the Sousse Valley scenery east from Agadir. You'll have to be an early riser to participate, as ballooners are picked up before sunrise so that they can travel out to the flight area, outside of the city. The views are worth the wake-up call, though, with red-tinged arid plains below rolling out in the distance to the foothills of the Southern High Atlas on one side, and the Atlantic Ocean on the other. The hot air ballooning excursion in Agadir offers a typical ballooning itinerary. It includes hotel pickup and drop-off, a one-hour hot air balloon tour, and, after the flight, a traditional breakfast served in a Berber-style tent and a short camel ride. Number 9. Trek the countryside around Tafraut. Amid stunning mountain scenery of pink and orange rocks, Tafraut is the quintessential Moroccan mountain village and a haven for walkers, hikers, climbers, and nature lovers. This peaceful town is about 166 kilometers southeast of Agadir, in the Ameln Valley of the Anti Atlas region, surrounded by a landscape of orchards and palm groves bordered by rugged cliffs and mountains. A visit here makes a great foil to bustling in modern Agadir and allows you to capture a sense of rural Moroccan life. You can kick back and just enjoy the scenery, or there are endless trekking opportunities for more active travelers. Don't miss the gorges of Abe Mansur and the prehistoric rock art near Animer. Number 8. Learn to Surf at Tagazout. Morocco's main surfer hangout, Tagazout is all about the sea, surf, swimming, and sand. The beach here is very popular with Moroccan tourists during the summer months and can get crammed during this time. Surfing is a year-round activity here but is at its best from October to March. There are dedicated surf operators offering dedicated surf holiday packages, lessons, and surfboard hire, so Tagazout has become a major destination for beginners wanting to learn how to surf. The town itself is a small, laid-back place, 23 kilometers north of Agadir, so easily visited as a half-day or full-day trip from town. Number 7. Stroll the Walled Medina of Tarudit. Inland from Agadir, an 88-kilometer drive east from town, Tarudant is one of the prime historic centers of the Sousse Valley, which became a major trans-Saharan trade route town in the 16th century. The town is enveloped by mammoth rammed earth fortifications that stretch for over 7 kilometers and are studded with impressive defensive gates. After strolling, or taking a carriage ride, around the walls, many visitors are here to shop amid Tarudant's rambling souk streets. The town is particularly well known for silver jewelry. Souk Arabe is the main area for shoppers. Tarudant's Kasbah district is also worth a wander but expect to get lost amid the tangle of narrow lanes. Number 6. Day Trip to Paradise Valley. This pretty gorge, about 60 kilometers north of Agadir, is a great destination to sample a taste of Moroccan rural life. Day hikes here along marked hiking trails pass by orchards of almond trees and olive trees and small villages along the way, all backed by views of the western edge of the Atlas. Mountain peaks rising up in the distance. Locals come here on weekends to picnic, so for a quieter experience, head to the valley during the weekdays. It's also a great place to pick up local produce. Plenty of small stalls in villages along the way sell local honey and argan oil. Number 5. Add a trip to Asora to your holiday. Asora, 173 kilometers north of Agadir, is one of Morocco's most popular seaside towns. If you're only going to take one day off the beach for a day trip, beeline here to take in its preserved 18th century seafront fortifications which have been stamped with a UNESCO World Heritage Site listing. Inside the Medina, it's all about aimless strolling while admiring the preserved architecture and browsing the many small art galleries and souk streets selling local handicrafts. The Medina's western wall looms up over the crashing waves of the Atlantic. For the best photos of the ramparts, head to the Scala du Port. This tower sits on the southern edge of the western wall, overlooking Asora's fishing harbor. Number 4. Visit Croco Park. This wildlife reserve, 14 kilometers east of Agadir, 
is home to Nile crocodiles, which up to the early 20th century were endemic in Morocco but have since been wiped out by hunting in the wild. Here, in this park dedicated to safeguarding the crocodiles, you can see and learn about these much-feared beasts up close, in an environment that has been carefully created to mimic their natural habitat. The park's gardens host a wide and varied range of flora, both local to the Agadir region and exotics, and staff who give tours of the site are highly knowledgeable about both the crocodiles and the plants. Number 3. Explore Agadir's City Center The modern central core of Agadir has a few interesting monuments that make a nice diversion from sunbathing. The Grand Mosque is a modernist-style structure and very unique among Morocco's mosques. For museum sightseeing, the Amazigh Museum, Passage 8 Seuss, displays some of Bert Flint's ethnographic collection, in conjunction with the Tiskiwin Museum in Marrakesh. The museum provides a good introduction to the culture and artistry of Morocco's Amazigh Berber cultures. Number 2. Take in the view from the Alphala. Agadir's massive earthquake in 1960 leveled much of the city's historic buildings, leaving the hilltop Agadir Alphala, its Kasbah district, as the only proper historic attraction in town. The Kasbah dates from the mid-16th century, when Agadir became an important center of trade. Only the thick and sturdy original ramparts survived but inside, this walled area was once Agadir's fortified town built to defend this seaport against attack. This entire area is being restored, with a cable car being put in place for ease of access for visitors. The walls themselves and the gateway are well preserved, and their hillside position provides excellent panoramic views across the sprawl of Agadir town below and the Atlantic coastline beyond. Number 1. Relax on Agadir Beach. Agadir is all about the beach. This is one of Morocco's prime beach areas, and holiday makers from across Europe flock here throughout the year to top up their tans. Summer is high season, as domestic tourists decamp to the Atlantic coast on holiday to escape the soaring temperatures inland. Many European package tourists also head here in spring and fall when there are still plentiful blue skies and sunny days. The long strip of Agadir's beach is rimmed by some of Morocco's best beach resorts and a host of facilities, including plenty of cafes and restaurants, as well as sunshades and deck chairs for hire. Many beachfront hotels offer private strips of sand for guests. If you want to see more exciting destinations and travel tips, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming adventures.